Maps have problem using branch and bound. Given n items of known weights wi and values vi, i from 1 to n and a knapsack capacity of capital W, find the most valuable subset of the items that fit in the knapsack. This is the problem statement. It is convenient to order the items of a given instance in descending order by their value to weight ratios. Then the first item gives the best payoff per weight unit and the last one gives the worst payoff per weight unit with ties resolved arbitrarily. The state space tree for this solution will be a binary tree. The left branch will indicate the inclusion of an item. The right branch indicates the exclusion of an item. At any level i, we can get a subset of selected items out of first i ordered items. We have to record the total weight, total value and an upper bound for every selected node. Basically, it is a maximization problem. Upper bound can be calculated as the sum of V, the total value of items already selected plus the product of the remaining capacity of the knapsack that is capital W by small w and best per unit payoff among the remaining items. So this is the formula to find the upper bound. Note that in this table value by weight ratio is ordered in descending fashion. The knapsack capacity is given as 10 and these are the items and their weights and values. And these are the items, their weights and their respective values. At node 0, no items are selected. Next, in the left branch, we include the first item. Weight of first item is 4 and the value is 40. Let's calculate the upper bound for this node. Value that is 40 plus capacity of knapsack is 10 minus weight of this item is 4 and the value by weight ratio for i plus 1 is 6. So the upper bound value for this node is 76. We need to check the other branch as well without including item 1. Without including item 1, the weight is 0 and the value is 0. So the upper bound will be 0 plus 10 minus 0 into 6. It will be 60. Among these two nodes, 76 is greater. So let's go with this node and branch out. Next check for with and without item 2. We have already included item 1 and now if we include item 2, the weight will be 7 plus 4. So it will be greater than the capacity of the knapsack itself. So this solution is not feasible. The other option for us to select is without item 2, we still have item 1 and we are excluding item 2. So the weight is 4 and the value is 40 of item 1. So the upper bound will be 40 plus 10 minus 4 into value to weight ratio for the next item is 5. So the upper bound value will be 40 plus 30, 70. Next, let's consider with and without item 3. So far, we have included item 1, excluded item 2 and let's now include item 3 and check. If we include item 3, the total weight will be 4 plus 5 that is 9 and the value will be 40 plus 25 that is 65. Let's calculate upper bound. Value is 65. 10 minus weight is 9. Value to weight ratio for next item is 4. 65 plus 4 is 69. So this is the lower bound at this node 5. The other option is to exclude item 3. Let's check that. If we exclude item 3, it means that we are taking only item 1. So the upper bound will be value 40 of item 1 plus 10 minus weight of item 1 is 4 into value by weight ratio for next item is 4. So the upper bound will be 40 plus 6 into 4, 40 plus 24, 64. When we compare, node 5 has larger upper bound. So let's consider that and branch out. Next, check for with and without item number 4. 
if we include 4 the weight will be 4 plus 5 plus 3 that is 12 this is greater than the knapsack capacity so it is not feasible let's try without 4 without 4 it means that we are including item number 1 and item number 3 so the total weight will be 9 and the total value will be 40 plus 25 65 let's see the upper bound value is 65 plus 10 minus weight is 9 value by weight ratio for next item is 0 because that's the end of it therefore the upper bound will be 65 this is the optimal solution node 8 has given us the optimal solution the final selection is item 1 and item 3 total weight will be 9 and the total value will be 65